up everybody and we are three days away from october which means it's halloween month so i thought i'd do a quick cheeky nukes top five reaction top five ghost videos that will scare your body that's what it's called i'll leave a link down below to the og video nukes top five are always amazing so please head over there give it a like subscribe and all that good stuff really important that you do that i'm excited it's nearly Halloween, which means we're going to play some horror games. We're going to do a bunch of horror stuff, guys. It's going to be a ton of fun. So what is your best horror game, horror content? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll react and play to it, and it's going to be an absolute blast, guys, okay? But for now, let's shut up. Let's pop this up. And let's get reacting to some ghosts. Top five ghosts. Hot on camera all right found here we go footage popular japanese paranormal youtube channel fourth wall has found another incredibly creepy video from the internet of an alleged very strange haunting in japan the video is said to have been posted to the internet by an anonymous man who says he was exploring an abandoned house and found two cameras that someone had simply left behind <clears throat> okay he says that when he checked the recorded footage from the camera's memory cards okay he was shocked by what he found i bet he was Good find though to find a new find a camera. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's find a free camera. No big deal, you know. So is this the footage that he found or is this his footage? Oh. That looked like there was someone near the door there. Computer. Oh, is it? No, it looks like a 3D printer of some sort. What was that? The music doesn't help. What was it? All right. I'm sure Nuke will break it down and put a big arrow on it for me. Did you see it? I saw Man that at first. Him, but there's nothing there. Ah. And something seems to startle him. And when he looks again... This time, a bizarre, unexplained figure is standing nearby, seemingly mm. just staring. Suddenly, the camera falls to the ground, but we don't hear anyone run away. In fact, we don't even hear anyone move. The internet poster who found the cameras in the empty building says he has no idea what happened to the camera's owner. Interesting. It's almost as if the explorer simply disappeared into thin air, never to be seen again. Interesting. You can check out more scary Japanese videos over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. So I'd have to check this fourth wall out to see if it's legit. But um, I feel like it's quite a horror trope for Japanese movies to have, you know, the girl with her head down and the hair. You got it from The Ring. You got it from The Grudge. You got it from a bunch of other films. It's, it's quite a trope in in Japanese um, horror stories. So to see that um, in this image like this makes me believe it's more fake because it's more tropey does that make sense but it's still kind of cool the story is cool it's a cool scary story that the camera was left behind so i'm going to give it a solid five out of ten guys let me know your ratings for each one of them down below okay solid five out of ten yeah solid five out of ten what lurks in the shadows Okay, number four, Chris let's from go. The YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back on another urban exploration to an abandoned temple in East Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. The unique structure was built in 1905 and served as a Masonic temple before it was abandoned in the mid 2000s. The whole like Masonic stuff, masonry stuff, is so bizarre, isn't it? Especially that um, airport in, is it Colorado? Uh, Denver, Col uh, Boulder, Colorado or something like that. I think there's like an airport with like a giant horse out front. The whole like kind of masonry cool kind of weird thing is very bizarre. But um, after speaking to some people who are members a while back at school um, at University in Maine, it just seems like a little bit of a boys club. It seems like there's two different sides to it. There's like this weird kind of mysterious cult thing and then it's just a boys club you get what i'm saying it's very strange if you know more about that let me know in the comments chris makes his way through the structurally damaged property to capture the temple's unique architecture on film it's really cool oh, man i hate this light my bed 
told you, this light goes out a lot for no reason. It's a ghost caught on tape, y'all. <laughs> That's a skeleton, <laughs> mate, not a ghost. It's a skeleton. Viewers of Chris's YouTube yeah. channel point out in the comments that a strange voice seems to say, hey, as Chris passes by. That could be someone just being like, get out the building type of thing. Now, maybe the creepy voice could simply be explained as some odd outside noise yeah. picked up by Chris's microphone. Not interesting. But what now. happens next is a little harder to explain. All right. It's really sad that they let this historical place fall apart like this. It is sad. Yeah, he's right. Damn, man. That's crazy. It is sad. Maybe someone will buy it and do it up. Let's hope. Hopefully they'll buy it and do it up. Wow, look at this. Yeah, look at that thing at the back. A shadow-like figure can be seen in a doorway. It appears to be shifting back and forth slightly before it just seems to disappear into the air. Chris is completely alone in the building and has no idea what he has just captured on camera. Yeah, he that's only weird. The figure when reviewing his footage later. That's weird. So what do you think this could be? All right. Let me know down in the comments. You can find more of Chris's amazing urban explorations and occasional possible paranormal encounters over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Okay, so that one was a bit more interesting. Obviously, abandoned house, um, weird kind of history to it with the whole masonry thing, if you think that that's weird. Um, and then that that kind of ghost figure in the, in the doorway didn't seem like a trope. He didn't seem startled by it, and he certainly didn't look like he was looking for paranormal stuff. So that always kind of adds into it. When someone's looking for paranormal and then they see something you know, like that last video, then it's a bit like, yeah. But when someone's not looking and they're just trying to explore and they see something weird in the background and don't notice it until the video has been reviewed, that is a little bit different. I'm going to give that a solid... I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Weird World. A segment where all the very strange videos go. First up, a man named Corey says that he works the night shift and arrived home late one night to find his large dog cowering in the kitchen. Oh, is this Curious just a story? Curious to see what it upset his poor dog. Corey checks his security footage. The CCTV captured something that Corey just can't explain. All right, let's have a look. That's the doggo. A bug or something. It could easily be a bug, a spider, or something like that. And the dog's just playing with it. Very easily. Yeah. It could very easily be like a spider or something. Maybe it's a wasp. Maybe it stung him. That's strange. Corey's dog seems to be bothered and then startled by something in the corner of the living room. The dog growls and stares at the spot before suddenly yelping in absolute terror and fleeing the room in a panic. It could have been like a wasp or spider that like climbed on him and then like bit him or stung him or something. I don't think that's necessarily a paranormal thing. It's more of a are you okay type of thing. It's unclear <laughs> what it is that seems to attack the dog and Corey believes that it might be related to the supernatural. As Corey says, he has had some odd experiences in the home. Interesting. But what do you think happened to this sweet dog? I think he could have just been and a bug. once again, I have to say... Ghost scaring people is just entertainment. Yeah. But ghost scaring dogs. No. Call a priest to exercise that god <laughs> ghost right now. <laughs> Next up in this week. I'm going to give that one a solid 5 out of 10 because it's creepy. 
but it could have easily been explained by being a bug or a ghost uh, a ghost a bug or a, 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 a spider or a wasp or something like that weird and unexplained video a german passenger is on board a plane flying at thirty thousand feet they look out their window and are freaked out to see a bizarre shape-shifting ufo right outside their window they pull out their nikon camera and quickly record i love ufo stuff What is that? Hold it still, you turd. Yeah, that's weird. He's really trying to zoom in. That's weird. What is it? Like a cloud or something, maybe. That's weird. That's a weird one, isn't it? I don't know what he's doing with the camera. Just hold it still, for God's sake. Lean it up against something. Is that all? Oh, it's right there. This guy cannot hold the camera, can he? Yeah, that's strange. That's strange. Very strange. Is it a glare on the this window? Quickly spread on Reddit and opinions on what this strange. That could easily be a glare on his window. Strange flying object could be are all over the place and pretty inconclusive. And I definitely have no idea what this could be either. But whatever it is, it's definitely weird and strange. It could be deserves a, a spot in this segment. It could be a glare on his window, strange but... Caught on camera moment, a CCTV we'll camera on an LA I'm going to give that a solid 5 out of 10 as well. Cool, but it could just be a glare on his Each window. broadcast live on the website, surfline.com. Okay. Early one morning, Reddit user, I survive on coffee is watching the live camera feed when suddenly he spots something that he just can't explain. We get more than five videos here. Whoa, that's fast, whatever that is. What is that? After posting the video to Reddit, curious viewers theorize that this could be anything from a small aircraft to a speeding jet ski, Birds or bugs, or even aliens, are a sea monster. But either way, whatever this dark, unexplained object is, it's yeah. moving at an incredible speed, which only adds to the mystery. It really is moving so fast. What do you think it is? What is that? Let me know down below. Yeah, I don't know. That's very strange. Fear very strange. The grave. Could it have been just the the crash of the wave because of the different colors of the camera, maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to debunk all of these because that's the best way to figure out whether something is paranormal or not, right? Is debunk it as much as you can. And if it is legit still, then if you can't figure it out, then there's something else going on. I give that a solid 4 out of 10. Paranormal investigation team Gangua P, which translates to Fear of Ghost Gang, sets out <laughs> to explore an extremely creepy graveyard located in Thailand. Okay. The cemetery ground holds over 200 bodies that to this day have not been claimed or identified by any friends or family members. That's sad. No one knows who the unfortunate souls are. That's really and they sad. they rest in temporary mass tombs without a name. Wow, the paranormal that's creepy and sad. The don't explain why there are so many anonymous people buried in the graveyard. But one can only imagine the number of restless spirits that might be stalking <clears throat> those graves. That's really sad. One brave Gangua P investigator decides to take their investigation to another level by getting down into one of the cemetery tombs and laying there all alone in the dark. Nah, mate. As you might expect, it did not go well. Nah, mate. The static camera records all of the action as the experiment suddenly takes a terrifying turn. Nah, that's creepy. But like a body's been laid there. Hit, 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 hit. 
เดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวอะไรอะไรมันเหมือนมีคนมาดึงโอออกอ่ะ All right, so here's my little <clears throat> five cents at this. If it's fake, it looks really good, but it looks too um, set up, right? It looks too set up, but the animation of the shirt looks good. <laughs> Like he'd be shaking and everything. Nah. Looks like a movie. Do you know what I mean? The KMP investigator lays inside the tomb for 20 minutes before suddenly something seems to violently yank at his T-shirt. The investigator is terrified. He jumps out of the tomb and runs to his friends. As he explains what just happened to him, something violently pulls him backwards and he falls hard onto the cemetery ground. That's when the team decides to just get out of there. So yeah, it looks really good how they've done it. Like legit, like the oh, shirt thing looks good. The only thing I can say is if you look at where it goes up his shirt, watch get out of there. So the question his shirt looks kind of blurry just as to oh, just if I can get, get this pause there. So where his shirt gets pulled there, it looks kind of blurry, right? Which could indicate it being fake. The question. But it looks good. Yeah, it's not real. Is it real? No. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It looks good. I'm gonna give you that decide. a solid six out of ten for effort. Follow out of anything, effort. Italian ghost hunter Inquieto TV, which translates to Restless TV, gathers his close friends to go on his very first paranormal investigation to an abandoned children's asylum in Campania, Italy. Okay. The tall building holds a gruesome past and was closed down after a young child fell from the top floor, oh. tragically losing his life. That's really sad. Since then, the facility has been completely abandoned. As the Inquieto TV team heads inside and makes really their way sad. up the staircase, they experience something truly bizarre. Okay. My Italian translator has a difficult time translating some pieces of the following clips. Okay. Okay. You're all good, Nuke. You're trying your best. I appreciate that. Okay. The soft voice of a young child can be heard, and the team has no idea where it could be coming from. They yeah, continue weird. their exploration and make another strange discovery. The nails are dangerous. There's people that have been sat there at some point. People have took in them trunks to sit around in a circle together. Yeah, like some sort of ritual sometime. Probably just a ritual or something. People do that stuff. Not like... Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, that one's weird. Inside one of the abandoned asylum rooms, mm. the Inquieto TV team finds a few tree trunks placed in a circle. Yeah. And then things take an even more terrifying turn because the explorers hear the laughter of a small child, followed by the sound of something heavy being thrown somewhere nearby. But did you see it? No. A small childlike shadow figure can be seen right in front of them. 
Interesting. Even see creepier. That. Whatever it is, it seems to be following them. That's kind of creepy. Eh? That's crazy. And again, did you see it? No, I didn't. In the corner of the room, the same childlike figure appears again, but only for a split second before quickly disappearing. That could have been and that Quiero shadow, TV right? Had no idea that they were seemingly being followed from room to room and didn't notice the mysterious shadow figure at the time. Yeah, that's creepy. So could this be the ghost of the child that tragically passed away inside the abandoned children's asylum? As always, I leave it to you to decide. That one was good. I like that one. It Thanks seemed for... more innocent, right? It seemed more kind of innocent and um, I would say unintentional. I'm going to give that a solid 8 out of 10. I thought that was a good one. I thought that was a good one. I feel like if there was if there was any paranormal stuff going on, that would probably more be more realistic, right? Wouldn't you agree? Again, new top 5 videos. Amazing as always. Excuse me. They are genuinely fantastic, and I love watching them, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as well. Um, it's coming to October. We're a few days off October now, which means, you know, it's time to start getting into the horror stuff, right? I think it is. Let me know in the comments what you think. Members, you're beautiful. You're amazing. I love you. I couldn't do this without you. It was really fun playing uh, the Halo beta with the original guards, which is the guards and the officer tiers um over on the infinite bait it was great it was a ton of fun we got a lot of wins we only lost once i think we're actually a really good team um so i appreciate you members if you want to become a member there's a join button down below um other than that socials down below my two different youtube channels original human geek where we play D D and original adventures where you can see the vlogs the family vlogs of us converting a school bus and planning on traveling the country but until next time guys i love you all have a wonderful day goodbye